Park County couple is under arrest after police find a man bound and dead inside of his own car on an abandoned property in Hardin County. Octavio Correa and his girlfriend Tiffany Hodges are charged with murder, kidnapping, and theft by unlawful taking. WLKY's Marissa Alter is live outside the Hardin County Justice Center with the latest on the investigation. Marissa? Vicki, this is where both suspects were arraigned this morning. Now, police say that the victim was a Hispanic man, also from Munfordville, but they have not released his name yet. Despite these arrests, there are still plenty of unknowns tonight, including the relationship between the suspects and the victim, and also a motive for this crime. This stretch of Gilead Church Road is rural, a passing train typically the only excitement. But Saturday afternoon, that all changed. Neighbor Chastity Lucas asked us not to show her face. State police started going through, and then the county came through, and then we seen crime scene investigation vehicles coming through, and uh, everybody was kind of shook up in the neighborhood what was going on. It turned out a man was found in the back seat of his own car. According to the arrest report, he was bound in a blanket, shot once in the head. It was a citizen that uh, lives in Glendale, Kentucky, that uh, noticed a suspicious car on the, on the property that, that they hadn't seen very often. Any cars parked on this property raise questions, since it used to be Glendale Children's Home, but hasn't been in operation for years. And all the houses have like little garages, and it was parked inside one of the garages. Says the back of the car could be seen from the road. Police began their investigation and less than 12 hours later had these two in custody. 24-year-old Octavio Correa and 31-year-old Tiffany Hodges. We do have interviews and, and, and investigations and, and different uh, pieces of evidence that, that obviously led us to them to make the arrest, but it's not something that I can talk about at this time. According to the arrest report, Hodges admitted she helped Correa kidnap the victim from his Munfordville home and bind him in his own car. She told police the couple then drove the victim's car 30 miles north to Glendale, where Correa killed him. I mean, it's just unreal that it happened right here in the backyard, you know, my backyard. But it goes to show you that, you know, Anything can happen anywhere. Now, both suspects are being held on a $1 million bond at the Hardin County Detention Center. They appear in court next on July 30th. Reporting live from E Town tonight, I'm Marissa Alter, WLKY News.